um, what we're told, specifically the young ladies, is that if they'll be content, God will give them a man. (laughs) And so in the end, what you have is a bunch of girls pretending to be content so that God will send them a man. All right? I don't care if he sends me a man or not. Where is he? I just said that. I meant, I, where is he? You are enough for me, Father. Where is he at? Where are you, baby? I mean, it's, yeah. Okay, let me, let me say this. God designed, um, God designed us to get married. There's nothing wrong with wanting it. And any preacher, pastor, or somebody who take the Bible and tell you it's sinful to want to be married, it's, it's, an, it's absurd. It's absurd. It's what's your crib. Now, are some of you going to be single? Absolutely. Uh, there's no doubt that the Scripture says some of you have what somehow we've started calling the gift. <laughs> right? Most of us want to take the gift back, <laughs> return it. There's been a mistake. <laughs> All right? <laughs> I burn with passion. There's been an error. It's been a horrible, horrible error. Um, and, and then you've got this other thing that happens to the guys where all of a sudden they start going, I'm just going to wait for the Lord to bring her to me. I'm just going to wait for the Lord to bring her. I mean, is there any other area of life that they do that in? They sure don't do that with dinner. And I'm sitting on the couch going, I sure am hungry. Please, Lord, bring me dinner. No, they don't. Where, where do they go? In the kitchen. Yeah, and so I don't think there's anything wrong once you have spotted and once you begin to see that there is a name, once you begin to see that there is depth, there doesn't appear specifically in this story to be anything wrong with going, I want to cross paths with that. 